A little bit before the turn of the century, a lot of German immigrants started coming into Los Angeles. There was a giant boom in population, and a lot of these German immigrants brought with them their brewing tradition. So in 1882, Joseph Mayer and George Zobelian purchased the old Philadelphia House Brewery. They brought with them, like a lot of German immigrants, new cold brewing techniques. This brew house was built in 1988 in Germany, and it was shipped over here. So we've been brewing beer here since uh, 2012. Mashing, then it's to the louder. There's a kettle in the back, and then it goes to the whirlpool. And these are the various steps that, that happen during brewing. And then once it goes into the whirlpool, then we'll cool that wort down, and it'll go into any number of these tanks around here. And then uh, we'll add our yeast, and then we'll start the fermentation process. So in 1907, Zobelian strikes out on his own and he buys a controlling interest in the Los Angeles Brewing Company, which was also known as the Eastside Brewery. And throughout the decades, the Eastside Brewery and other local LA breweries really start competing nationally with the big boys in terms of beer. What we now know as the Arts District really became the backbone of the industrial center of Los Angeles and became a real important hub for brewing in Los Angeles. Turn of the century is when these German immigrants were coming and starting breweries, but uh, it wasn't until you know 1920s that we started to see prohibition. And a lot of these breweries, some of them did shut their doors, but a lot of them tried to make it and they made sodas, made ice cream. The German tradition still stayed here, but it wasn't the same after prohibition. You know, it's just fun to explore the, the wide variety of beer styles that came from these German breweries when the, the population of LA was growing so fast. Keller beer is kind of a, a broad term. With Keller beer is you can take any, any German style. Before you start to lager it, you package it right away because you want it to be as fresh as possible. It makes it a little bit more rustic. It gives it a little bit more flavor. It just brings about like different nuances, more fruity, uh, a little bit more like apple characteristics and the East Side series and even just the Keller beer, you know, it's just easy drinking, good beer, unpretentious, doesn't have to have tons of ingredients, a ton of different uh, flavor compounds that you would, that you'd expect from a lot of the breweries today. It's something you can have a few of. Genießen Sie ein kaltes Kellerbier, which just translates to uh, enjoy this nice cold Kellerbier.